Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bunch of makeup that I honestly couldn't resist buying. There have been several new launches and I've received a lot of new makeup in PR, but then there's also things that have launched that I didn't receive in PR that I wanted to buy myself and all my orders kind of trickled in at the same time, except for a couple things, which once those come in, I'm definitely gonna review a little bit more later. But for now, I felt like there's plenty to work with here. So I actually placed um, an order at Ulta online and then also Sephora because I wanted to grab a couple of things and anyway, there's a lot to try here. I've got a beauty oil from Ella Luz. I've got this new Estee Lauder Double Wear, what's it called? Sheer Long Wear Makeup, which Shelby Wilson recently did a review video on. I will have her video down below. Her video is what made me want to try it and I'm glad I'm finally sitting down to be able to try it out. I've also been hearing amazing things about the One Size Beauty Concealer and then the Powder Foundation, which I actually did receive the Powder Foundation in PR a while back, um, but all the shades were too deep for me, so I picked up my own so I could have a better shade um, I'm hoping this works for me. And then also I wanted to try out the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. Even though I have so many bronzers right now, I still really wanted to try this out. I've heard good things. And also um, last month in Kathleen Light's favorites video, she mentioned this stick blush from Anastasia in the shade Latte and she sold me on that. So there's a few other things mixed in here as well, which we'll get to, but let's go ahead and just start. I'm gonna start with this Elle Luz Beauty Oil. I actually was totally influenced by makeup by Kellyanne over on Instagram. I've talked about her several times on my channel. I discovered her months ago and she is just so talented and her account is completely blowing up, which I'm so glad because she really does deserve so many followers, like millions of followers. If you don't follow her already, she has so much insight and just great makeup tips, a beautiful aesthetic, just provides a lot of value. So if you're looking for someone new to follow, be sure to follow her. I'll have her Instagram in the description box, but this is something that she talked about. I would have never like gone out of my way to pick this up had it not been for her. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. Now, Ella Luz actually just barely launched in Ulta. So I was wanting to try this out originally a while back, but um, it actually sold out on the Ella Luz website. So once I saw that they launched at Ulta, I placed an order and snagged mine, but this smells so good, oh my gosh. It smells amazing. So Kellyanne always says she loves to use a little bit of this underneath the eyes. Um, I am putting it all over the face because I actually didn't put too many like heavy moisturizers on today. So I really want this to be my moisturizer. I'm so excited to try this. She says that once it kind of sinks in, it almost has a bit of a tacky finish to it, which I can totally see. Once it starts to settle in, it does kind of have a little bit of a grip to it, which is really unique. I love that. I love how it smells. Obviously, I'm gonna have to see like how this does on my skin as far as like making sure I don't break out or anything from it, but usually I'm pretty okay with beauty oils. I don't find too many oils that irritate my skin, so hopefully it's the case with that as well. Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of sink in for a little bit. Next up, I bought this right here. Again, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear sheer long wear makeup. It looked amazing on Shelby when she talked about it, so I can't wait to try it out. I picked mine up in the shade one and two a crew. Hopefully it's not too deep for me, it should be okay. Um, I'm usually the shade in the original double wear foundation, but I'm pretty fair these days. So this is a pretty liquidy consistency. Here it is on the back of my hand. You'll see it has a pretty runny look and feel to it. So I am going to take this on a foundation brush and I'm just gonna pick it up off the back of my hand and start to distribute this all over the face. Um, let's go ahead and see what this claims to do. It's a sheer foundation that's supposed to have all day wear. It gives enough coverage, but also lets your natural beauty show through, it says on the box. Which I was so excited to try this after Shelby's video because it really did look like something that, yeah, just adds just the right amount of coverage, but apparently wears really well too since it's a part of the double wear line, which usually those products wear really well on me. Taking a little bit more, this shade is working well for me, which is good. Just kind of buffing that onto the cheeks. And then I'm gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand with a sponge, and I'm just gonna press this in Wow, that looks really nice on the skin. It definitely just evened out the coverage, but it hardly looks like anything on my face. It's pretty indetectable, but obviously did something. That's so pretty. There have been a lot of new foundation launches recently, and 
I always love trying new foundations, so I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. Wow, based on application, that's very, very pretty. Moving on to concealer, we're gonna go into the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. I picked mine up in the shade Fair 3 Neutral, which looks kind of light, but hopefully it's okay. I really, really like the packaging on this. It's a nice size and then, oh, okay. So the applicator is actually a little bit smaller than I thought it would be, which I like because then it allows you to get more precise. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the under eye. Actually, I think that shade is gonna be great for me. Let's just do one side of the face so we can really see the difference. I have been hearing so many good things about this. Lisa J here on YouTube has been talking about it quite a bit. So she kind of influenced me to buy this as well. It's kind of interesting. I've actually been influenced to pick up a lot of these things because of other influencers now that I think of it. Wow, that looks really pretty. I'm gonna layer up a little bit more Okay, so I'm actually pretty shocked that this is a little bit of a thinner formula than I expected from this brand, I guess. I almost thought because it does have such great coverage, I just assumed that it was gonna be a little bit more of like a thicker tart shape tape consistency, but it's actually not. It's actually very, very thin, but offers really great coverage. You can see the difference there. I love this shade for me. I think it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this eye. And let's go ahead and put a little bit down the center of the face as well. Wow, when I drew that line on my nose, that is so precise. I love the applicator. It's got a really cool shape to it that allows for precision like that. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out with my sponge. So I don't know about you guys, but I love to watch videos of like celebrity makeup artists and learn from them. And so many of them leave the concealer on the nose for a while to let it dry a little bit so that it kind of creates a little bit more of a precise highlight down the center of the nose. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it for a little while. While I leave that though, I'm gonna dip into this Anastasia Cream Bronzer. I've just heard good things from a lot of people about this. I wasn't gonna buy it and then, I don't know, I heard about it enough times and I was like, okay, I really wanna see for myself what the hype is all about. So here's the cap. It has a really nice kind of soft matte feel to it. And then here's the product on the inside. So it's a pretty warm tone cream bronzer. This is in the shade Sunkiss, which is the lightest shade that they offer. Whoa, I'm knocking things over. Let's see how this looks. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm usually really picky with the undertone of a cream bronzer. I usually don't like anything too warm, but I'm not gonna completely judge it until it's blended out on my face. So let's go ahead and apply this to the perimeter. Okay, it's very warm tone, like very, very yellow toned which again, I'm normally not huge on, but I guess if it's a true bronzer, it should be a more warm undertone. I usually like something that has a little bit more of like an olive undertone or a, almost a red undertone for a bronzer, but not too red. It can be tricky with fair skin to find a bronzer with the right undertone. Let me get this blended out before I judge it so harshly. I am loving how silky it's blending out though. It's seriously such a beautiful, very silky, very easy to blend formula. It's like blending itself out basically, which I do really like. I'm just gonna run this down the sides of the nose, right up against that concealer. Once it's blended out, I actually don't mind it as much as I did initially. I still think I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation brush and just kind of like blend the edges a bit. It definitely does add like a true warmth to the skin, which that's what bronzer is supposed to do, right? So that is nice. I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you think this undertone looks good? Do you think it's too warm? I feel like I can't quite judge it all the way yet. I need to see what it looks like once the rest of my makeup is done. But so far, once it's blended out, it looks better than I thought it was going to, but still a little bit warm. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. Let's go ahead and blend out this concealer that's been sitting here. I'm just gonna gently pat that in with my sponge. Did that do anything? <laughs> I think so. I'm gonna kind of tighten up the sides here with what's left on my sponge, just so that that bronzer doesn't look too intense. And then I'm just taking what's left on my sponge and concealing anything on the eyelids. I'm gonna set the face with my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Sugar Cookie. Starting with the under eye area, just kind of pressing that in and then the T-zone, and then I'm gonna take a larger brush and use that same powder to set the sides of the face. Just gently pressing that powder in with my sponge. 
Now I'm gonna try to put this stick blush on top, which normally, you know, I know you're supposed to not layer it on top of powders technically, but I'm gonna try to because that's how I like to apply cream blush. Look how pretty this color is. Ooh, again, this is the Anastasia Stick Blush in the shade Latte. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand first. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. It's a really nice creamy formula. And I'm gonna take this on a little brush. Just pick it up and then smile. Just kind of stipple it onto the cheeks. Okay, so for a cream blush, it has a pretty matte finish. I don't know if that's what it claims or anything. Just, oh, it says it's illuminating. The flexible coverage and seamless finish. This shade doesn't have too much of a like shimmer to it, which is kind of nice. It's more matte. I'm just continuing to layer that up. That's so soft and romantic. I really like how that looks. Just taking that small brush and just making sure the edges around the eyes are nice and blended. That is so pretty. All right, we're gonna quickly fill in the brows. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown. I'll do this off camera because it can be kind of boring. Okay, so now that my brows are on, I kind of want to brighten up the center of the face with this one size turn up the base um, foundation powder. So I got it in the same shade as my concealer, which I'm so happy because I really enjoyed that shade. Oh, the little plastic protector flew out of here, but here it is. I really, really like the packaging on this as well. It has a nice raised logo. I've heard such good things about this, so I'm really excited to try it. I personally use a powder foundation to touch up the center of the face, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take that and kind of smooth out the under eye area a little bit just to add some brightness and then also smooth over any pores right here. Also gonna take that through the center on the chin. And you know what? I'm gonna use that to kind of conceal the eyelid a little bit which I think looks so nice. I wanna keep the eyes pretty simple. I'm gonna take my KVD Dazzle Stick in the shade Electro Bolt, and I just kinda of stamp this across the lid gently, and then blend it out with my finger before it dries down. It makes such an easy one and done eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pop on mascara. Today I'm gonna to use the Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara on both the top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. And then I bought two Morphe lip liners. I've wanted to try these two shades for so long. I think Jaclyn Hill talked about them ages ago. I just never got around to trying them, but I bought them off of Ulta.com. I got two shades, Sweet Tea and Backseat Love. I think for this look, I'm gonna stick with the shade Backseat Love and just see what this looks like all over the lips. It's more like a pink undertone. Well, actually it's kind of peach. Still really pretty. I'm just gonna line and fill the lips in with this. Oh, that's actually a really nice formula. Just glides across the lips super easily. Okay, that's a lot lighter than I thought it would be based off of this, but here we are. Maybe I'll take a little bit of Sweet Tea, which is a bit deeper, and just kind of use that to sculpt the edges a little bit. Kind of fill in those outer corners. That's pretty. I normally go for more cool toned lip liners, so this is a little different for me, but I still think it looks really pretty. I'm looking in the monitor and I want a little bit of definition on the crease of the eye. So I'm just gonna take some of my powder bronzer from my Julia's Place uh, Bronzer Duo. I'm just gonna throw this in the crease a little bit. I don't need much, but just something in between that shadow and my brow bone. Okay, I actually want a little bit more of that Anastasia Cream Blush. So I'm just putting a little more on the back of my hand and picking it up with that same brush and then smiling and applying it to the apples of the cheeks. I feel like once I put on um, that one size powder foundation in that area, it kind of smoothed over some of that blush. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want highlight today. Honestly, I feel like that beauty oil is giving a nice glow to the skin, so I'm gonna skip highlight today. And let's see, I wanna move on to maybe a little bit of lipstick. I actually bought this lipstick forever ago and I've been meaning to like really use it in videos. I feel like I used it maybe once in my videos, but I'm gonna use this shade right here called the Rose Official. This is from Lisa Eldridge, by the way. I just want a little bit of like a pink in the center of the lips. So I just apply that to the center and I'm using my finger to press it in. I'm also gonna pop on the Lisa Eldridge Gloss in the shade Songbird. Again, just focusing that in the center. Yeah, I feel like that little bit more uh, pink lip really does look good with the eyeshadow and blush. So since we're skipping setting spray, I'm gonna go directly into brow gel. And I bought this from Sephora, Patrick Ta's new Major Brow Lamination Gel. Very excited to try this. I saw a tutorial on Instagram on how to use this and they said to kind of wipe away any excess product to prevent buildup. So I just did. Okay, 
Here is the packaging. It's a nice elongated tube. And here is the applicator, really unique. I'm excited to try this out. So let's try it with one side of my brow first. Ooh, I really like the comb feeling to it. Like it's definitely separating those brow hairs really well. Ooh, kind of creating that true laminated brow feel and look. Ooh, look at the difference. I think I really like that. Obviously, we're gonna have to see how well it wears, but hopefully this wears well. I love how it kind of grips to the brows. You can really get a hold of the brow hairs and really, really comb that product through it. Oh my gosh, wow. It has hardened like a hairspray in my brows, which honestly is good. I love when a brow gel keeps my brows in place like crazy. I don't wanna bother setting my brows if they're gonna budge all day, so. I really like that. Wow, okay, so it dries pretty fast. Ooh, I'm so excited about that. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of my NYX brow pen after that is set, which is dried down now. I'm just gonna kinda like fill in any sparse areas in the center that I may have missed with my pencil. Mmm, I like that a lot. Just taking that one size powder and just making any last minute touch-ups through the T-zone. And there you have it. There's my look that I created using all these things that I just had to buy, basically. Let's run through everything so I can give you my first impressions. If you wanna hear notes on how it wore, I will have that in the description box down below. I feel like I tried so many complexion products that it might be hard for me to be able to decipher what wears well or what doesn't at this point. So I'll just do my best and give you as much detail as possible in the description box. In the meantime, let me share with you guys my first impressions on these products. So the Ella Luz Beauty Oil, I'm obsessed with how this smelled and felt on my skin. I'm gonna have to see how it affects the wear of my foundation. I mean, I'm already seeing my base looks very, very glowy and it's probably because of this. I might have applied too much. I kind of went a little overboard. I applied like three drops. Maybe I only need one or less than that, but I really do feel like all my makeup applied well. Any powders that I set on top have kind of sunk into the skin and absorbed into that oil, which makes everything look very, very fresh, even though it's um, set into the skin. So I'm excited to see how that holds up. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup looks so pretty on the skin. It had a very nice lightweight feel to it, but gave a pretty good amount of coverage. I'm really excited to see how this holds up over top of this. Again, check the notes to see my thoughts on how it wears on top of the oil. Um, the one size concealer is so beautiful. Again, very surprised at the formula. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker than it is because of how much coverage it gave, um, but it really does feel very lightweight underneath the eyes. It smoothed out the under eyes. I love the applicator on this. Super excited about that as well. Um, the Anastasia bronzer, I'm honestly the most on the fence about this. I feel like at the end of my routine, it doesn't look bad, but like, it kind of looks too yellow on me. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm correct. Please tell me in the comments. Are you seeing what I'm seeing or am I being too picky? Let me know. The blush from Anastasia, this color really is so pretty and so soft, great for every day. Um, I had no issues blending out this formula on top of powders, which is what I personally look for in a cream um, blush, just because I always use powder on my face. Really excited about that. I feel like I found some really good things, you guys. The one size powder, I think it added a lot of smoothness to the face without making it feel or look heavy. So I'm excited to keep trying this out. I'm gonna have to try it out as an actual foundation since it is a foundation. But honestly, I again, I do use these products underneath the eyes to kind of smooth the T-zone. So that's how I feel like I'm gonna continue to use it. But I really did like what it did. I think it added a little bit of coverage, really smooth things out. What else did I try? Oh, the lip liners, right? The Morphe lip liners, really, really like the formula. I'm not sure if I personally love the colors as much as everyone else does. Um, I've heard so much said about Sweet Tea and Backseat Love. I think they're nice, but again, I go for just different undertones when it comes to lip liners. So love the formula though. I might try to find something that's more close to what I reach for and see how I end up liking those. They weren't bad, but just, you know, the colors didn't floor me on my personal skin tone. 
just was okay. But yeah, the formula was really nice. I liked how smooth they were. I, I feel like I could fill my lips really quickly with it. So that was really nice. Um, what else did I buy? I think the last thing was this Patrick Ta Brow Lamination. Holy smokes, you guys. I love the applicator. I love how much it dried down. It's literally like super glue. It doesn't budge when I move my brows, but it also doesn't feel or look gloopy or heavy in the brows, which is something that I don't always love about the soap brow trend. Sometimes it's easy to kind of gloop up. So if you've wanted to achieve that soap brow, laminated, lifted brow look, but you just don't want to actually spray a soap bar or get gunk in your brows, this might be a great option for you. It's somehow it's like a thin enough formula to where it doesn't gloop up, but it's like heavy duty enough to literally super glue your brows down. So I have no doubts that this is gonna last me hours and hours just based off of how it feels already in the brows. But again, I will keep you guys posted. Those Lisa Eldridge formulas are so beautiful and the colors really did like fix what I was not loving about the lip coloring by kind of adding that pink back in. So I really did love that as well. I think that's everything. That was so fun to be able to try out some more new makeup with you guys. I love trying new makeup. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these new things and what you think about them. I would say the thing I'm the most excited about is probably, ironically, the brow gel. I'm a brow gel person though. And then also the concealer. I loved the applicator. Of course, we'll have to see how that wears. So yeah, the brows, the concealer, and the blush, I feel like was my favorite out of what I tried today so far. Obviously, I will continue to test these out and if I end up loving them and they stick into my routine, you will know about it in upcoming videos. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I purchased. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.